Hey guys, back here with Tua for another video. Update, pup date time, week 35. If you're new to this channel, I do this style of video every single Sunday on my bull mastiff Tua here as he turns another week older. Basically just updating you guys on how the week went and if there's anything to make note of. Um, I touch on all sorts of things such as his physical growth, um, what I'm feeding him, his behavior, his drooling, his barking, his energy level, what I'm doing to socialize him, all kinds of stuff. And basically I do these videos um, to give anybody that would uh, potentially be interested in the breed a great log of information that they can look back on um, at very specific ages on possibly what to expect because uh, that's what I went through with him here. Um, they're all going to be a little bit different, but uh, this is just creating a great log to show people what they could expect at very certain ages if you're interested in a bull mastiff. So go ahead, check out all the videos if you're interested in the breed. Um, I usually like to start out these videos with just uh, different things that were new to the week. So this week we did get him a new toy. Um, it's called a Vibrant Life Chomp and Tug Buddy. Um, I can't remember exactly what I paid for it. It was probably like 5 to $8 or something. I don't have a link for it. I couldn't find that on Amazon, but we did buy this at Walmart. And Tua absolutely loves it. It has uh, two bones kind of that a rope is wrapped around the inside of. And then it's a nice tough rope and some tough fabric. And he's been chewing on it like crazy this week. Um, like I said, we did just get it at Walmart. I couldn't really find it on Amazon or anything. But uh, go ahead, check it out at Walmart. Highly recommend it. Um, Tua loves it. Another thing from the week, uh, we gave him his second bath that he's ever had. Um, and we actually did it outside in a kiddie pool, which I would highly recommend, um, especially if you're in a warmer climate, just to do it like that year round. Uh, it, it worked out much better than giving him a bath inside because all the mess stays outside. We live in North Dakota, so this is only um, possible for us to do, you know, probably six to eight months out of the year, if that. Um, with the weather and I would also recommend um, if you are going to do it because that that uh, water is so freezing cold probably let it warm up uh, for a for a day and then just use the garden hose while he's standing in that warm water uh, but it worked out great we had the kiddie pools out already because it was my daughter's second birthday and they were swimming and I'll touch on that a little bit later in this video also I also want to say um, after giving him that bath, he was shedding quite a bit for probably a day or two afterwards. And I did brush him very good before and after that bath. Um, so when you're giving him these baths, expect that. There's going to be a lot of excess loose hair and stuff coming off of him. And uh, it, was, it was kind of crazy. It was probably the most I've ever seen as far as hair coming off him. And I continued to brush him with the Furminator. And uh, yeah, just something to make note of. Um, about the last month, I've been saying he's kind of been in this teenager type phase where he's almost kind of defiant, his energy's up, uh, selective hearing, stuff like that. And he is still in that phase, but this week was noticeably better um, with the energy level being a little bit down, listening a little bit better, and just in general, um, that type of behavior not going on as long. But even with that uh, teenager phase that he's been in, he's showing great self-control, um, in certain situations, such as what I'm showing you now, uh, my daughter loves to eat her breakfast at our coffee table, and two is usually hanging out right next to her, and he definitely will like be around her and close and get in her face, but he will not take that food out of her bowl. So he's showing great self-control, knowing that that's not his food, it is her food, and she's just a two-year-old little kid. Um, so that's great on his part. I will say, however, if she drops something on the ground, though, then it's a free-for-all, and Tua is on it like a fly on you know what um so but great self-control not taking food out of her bowl even if she's not around it now we'll get into the stuff that i touch on every single week and he actually turned another month older i do height monthly so we'll start with height uh at seven months old he was 26 and a half inches and now at eight months old i had him measured out at 27 and a half so he's getting very very tall um, I can't imagine that height's going to go up too much more. And like I said, I, I don't have this uh, measuring down to an exact science. It's probably give or take a quarter inch to a half inch. I'm literally just taking a tape measure and uh, measuring his height. So it's definitely not like exact. His weight this month was uh, 103 and a half pounds. 
or this week, not this month. Last month he was 103, now he's 103 and a half, so he's only up half a pound. And I kind of talked about this in the last video that I thought his his weight would start slowing down. I didn't know that I was going to call it uh, this soon. But because he had been doing two pounds a week for a while now, and I said last week that it would definitely start slowing down, or it would have to, because he's only going to be, you know, maybe a 150 pound dog. So I expected it, anticipated it to slow down, and here we are, only a half pound uh, weight gain, which is the smallest amount that he's ever gained since I've been doing these videos, since we brought him home, anything. So at eight months old, 35 weeks today, he is 27 and a half inches at the shoulder and 103 and a half pounds. So he's a really big boy. But with that, I, I want to say he's definitely not uh, like filling out much yet. He seems very tall and skinny. I can still see his ribs. I can see veins in his legs. I can see the muscles in his legs. So he's definitely very, very lean, which is good. I don't want him to pack on weight crazy, crazy fast. These bull mastiffs continue growing and filling out till they're about three years old. Um, so that weight's going to now come on nice and slow and steady, I would imagine. Um, possibly have weeks where he doesn't gain anything. And uh, I would anticipate, you know, quarter pound to half pound kind of kind of weight gains from here on out with uh, some growth spurts here and there, I'm sure, where he might put on a pound or two. But I would anticipate wow. it to stay slow now. Raw food is something that I supplement in with his kibble every single week and it's also something that I update you guys on every week. We did a brand new um, food for him this week he had never had before and it was fish. It was tilapia and uh, with that fish you are what I was reading is you're supposed to certain fish you're supposed to freeze them for at least a week to kill any parasites that they may have. I want to say when I was reading it it was like salmon and something else but I wanted to just make sure that I did my due diligence and be better safe than sorry, essentially. So I did have this fish frozen, this tilapia, for a week before I gave it to him. And then I, I thawed it out and cut it up. And uh, I did cut off the barbs on, on this fish. If you're familiar with fish, you know, like bullheads and sunfish and stuff like that, they'll have these barbs around their fins. And it just looked like something that, you know, could easily get caught in his throat. So I did cut those off. But other than that, I cut the fish up and left every other bone um, in there, just like I do with, like, chicken or anything else. And he seemed to really like it. I didn't notice that uh, he ate it any slower or faster than anything else. So it's uh, good to go with the fish. I'll definitely uh, keep bringing that into, uh, into his diet. We also did strawberries and bananas. I just got a big frozen bag um, at Walmart. I can't remember how much it was. It wasn't very expensive and it's gonna last a while. I wanna say it was like a three pound bag, maybe a five pound bag. I can't remember exactly. Um, but he ate those and seemed like those also. Um, and with, with feeding raw, how I supplemented in, um, definitely wash the, their dog bowls and stuff more often um, because all that bacteria is just gonna sit in there and I would imagine that's not going to be very good for, for the dog or if you got kids that might be touching the bowl and stuff. So I'm pretty much, if I'm not washing his dishes daily, it's at least every other day. And uh, just something to keep in mind, make note of. Definitely be washing those dishes more often if you're putting any kind of raw food in there for him. And kind of with that also, he is starting to break out again. It's been a while since uh, I had brought that up at all. And he hadn't really been breaking out before. So I wonder if it's from the fish potentially, or if it's just coincidence that he's starting to break out again. I would say it's probably more like coincidence that he's breaking out and not because of the fish. Uh, because it's been a while, and I know when they're kind of in these teenage type years um, and the hormones are going, they're gonna break out just like people. So just something to make note of though, was it the fish, was it not? I'm leaning towards just coincidence. Another thing that I touch on every week is socialization, what we're doing to socialize this guy here. Um, this week we went on a lot of walks again and it was my daughter's second birthday like I talked about earlier in the video so we had some family over and, um, and my niece and nephew and they're they're pretty young yet too and Tua gets very excited when people come over for probably the first five or ten minutes um, and then he'll calm down and just act like he's known him his whole life kind of thing no aggression or anything did great with all these kids, although like I've talked about many times in other videos, be careful because when he's excited and they're excited and they're running around, then Tua wants to run around and he has and, and will knock kids to the ground, not in an aggressive way at all, but he's a big kid himself and he just wants to play. 
Uh, we had the pools out and stuff like I talked about earlier and uh, some other water type toys. And Tua was loving it. He was, he was kind of getting involved with the kids, getting in the water, um, the sprinklers and stuff. He didn't get in a pool ever until we gave him a bath in, in the pool like I was talking about once the kids were done with it. But he did uh, really, really great with the water, really great with the kids and some of the new people that he met. So it was a great experience to have him out there. Uh, drooling is another thing that I update you guys on every week. No change to that from last week. Um, it's just kind of steadily increasing as his, his jowls are getting bigger and growing more droopy and stuff like that. But the main issue with drooling, if you even want to call it an issue, is just immediately after he's uh, drinking water. And like I said, I'm always ready with a paper towel or a towel to go ahead and wipe that up. So it, it's kind of been a non-issue for me. Um, he will drool if he's very tired, if it's very hot outside on walks and he's panting heavily. Um, this video here that I'm showing you is just from last week. I didn't get any new videos from this week. Um, but the drool kind of remains the same when he's out on walks. If it's very hot and he's panting heavily, it looks like that. Barking is another thing I update you guys on every single week. It's still slowly increasing, but only kind of related to around our house or around our yard. If we're out on walks or in a store or wherever and he's seeing dogs and people, he will not bark. We're walking right by him. That dog's in their yard barking at Tua. Tua will not bark back. He just kind of perks his ears up and looks at them. Um, but in our yard now, he is, um, if he's hearing sounds or anything like that, he'll do some more barking. I would imagine that's kind of the guarding instinct in him. And uh, I mentioned last week how he's actually standing up against our neighbor's fence and putting his paws up there and barking at that neighbor dog. And that's kind of increasing again this week also. Um... And it's just the one neighbor dog. It, there's there's two other neighbor dogs on the other others, uh, end of our yard that they bark at him as well. And he just runs up to the fence and won't bark back at them. It's just the one dog. So I don't know if that dog's like talking smack to him uh, or what's going on. But uh, kind of weird. And I believe they're all males. So it's not even like uh, he's not barking at the female dog and he's only barking at the male dog. So I'm not really sure what's up with that. Um, but he, he is standing against that fence and kind of barking in an aggressive way towards that one. Uh, but he's met that dog like outside of our yard and never had an issue. So I think it's just kind of guarding type thing, guarding his territory again. Uh, so yeah, just something to make note of. Lastly, I touch on energy. Um, his energy was kind of up and kind of down this week. He had some lazy days. And he had some energetic days. And that's different because the last month I've been saying he's in this teenager type phase where his energy has been mostly up. And this week we were kind of fading out of that high energy type uh, phase. I would say he had just as many up days as he had down days. And uh, maybe that's a trend or maybe it was just off this week. Uh, we'll find out as we uh, continue going forward. Um, but like I said to the, the teenager phase, the energy phase, it's not crazy. It's not like you have this really high strung dog all the time. I was saying it was just for two to three hour windows, usually at night. And other than that, he kind of sleeps most of the day. It was just up for him compared to where it had been. So that's all I really have to say on that. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much all I have for this week. As usual, if there's anything you guys would like me to update you on week to week, um, as far as behavior or anything like that goes that I already don't touch on, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video, and we'll do it again next week. And take care, everybody. Thanks for watching.